Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome to another episode of Valheim! Last time we went ahead and we got all of our metal off of that node, and now we're going to smelt it up into bars, and we're going to make some stuff. So, alright guys, so what, we got 12 iron out of that last time. Oh, by the way, uh, Valheim can be gotten on Twitch, or at itch.io, and it's a free download right now. But that might change in the future, so I'd grab it right now and give the devs a couple bucks, man. They ask for a $2 tip, but, um, but you know, uh, I give them 10 So, you know, you do what you want, but be, be, do the right thing. A couple bucks isn't going to break you. And trust me, you're going to get $2 worth of entertainment out of this game, I guarantee. Except when you're staring into the sun. Ha! All right, so we're going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and... What are we going to do? Um, I want to make the smelter. I mean, no, not the smelter. The charcoal maker, guys. The char so... In, what, in these cabins that are around here, guys, let me show you. You know what I'm talking about, the cabins that we see in those chests? I found a Surter core. We, I talked about this in, in the last, Surtling core, in the last episode. There's a cabin up here. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Oh, yeah, this is what I did last time. At the end of the last episode, um, there was a, a Grey Dwarf that was attacking my portal. So I went ahead and I, and I put their palisades, the rest of the palisades around here. I put a, a door that actually snapped to the edge of this port, or this palisade, which is cool. But it's a, it snapped high, so I got to put stairs in, guys. Put stairs on either side so you don't have to jump. Otherwise, you got to jump through the portal. I don't like jumping. You use a stamina. And then I took these little, um, these little awning pieces, and they they, they snapped on on one side of it, and I put another piece uh, snap on the other side. If you don't, then your stairs and your doorway will degrade from the rain. But if you do this, it'll be fine. So anyway, guys, he he was attacking my portal, and I actually want to. Yeah, it still works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my hammer here. We're going to actually fix this. I'll show you how to fix something. So to repair something, guys, um, I just, you left click on it, okay? Wait, you right click on it. No, you left click on it. Left click on it <laughs> to repair it. All right, there, it poof, and it repaired it. All right, now it'll tell you, now it should tell me, it does, yeah, stake wall does not need repairs. Not stake wall, dude. Portal does not need repairs. Do not right click on it; you will destroy it. <laughs> Left click is the uh, is the way to, to to fix things in the repair. You just go to miscellaneous, and then the first option is repair with the hammer in your hand. The green highlight. Make sure nothing needs repairs. But if you, if you if the thing is, is, it doesn't cost any materials right now to repair anything, so it's free. It's just annoying if you have to repair something, but it's free to repair. So if you if you need to repair something, it's not going to cost you anything except the durability on your hammer. But anyway, I should be able to fit like three or four portals in here before I have to expand this. So, yeah, this, this does me for right now. I'm pretty happy with it. So let's go ahead and let's build something else. I want to build, I want to build a charcoal bin, or a charcoal burner. Is that a gray dwarf? No, that was a rock. All right, so I'm going to need some, I'm going to need 20 stone. I think it's 20 stone. And I need the cert core, the certling core. Certling core, we're going to need that. And I think that's all I need. I think it's just 20 stone in a certain core. Let's go over here. Let's equip our hammer right quick. And let's go to building. Is it building? Or is it miscellaneous? No, it's, is it crafting? It's got to be crafting, I think. And I, mm, yeah, the smelter. This is the smelter, um, which I'm, I don't, it takes two certain cores to make a smelter and two certain cores to make the, the charcoal kiln. Now that's the bad news. The good news is, Right now, I only need two to make the charcoal. Uh, okay, so um, you can see it's flashing now. It's going to take 20 more stone and 20 and two certling cores to make it. Good news is, when I demolish this, I should get my certling cores back. So I can. I'm going to make a bunch of charcoal, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to make the smelter. After that, we're going to destroy the destroy the charcoal kiln. And then we're going to make the smelter after that using the same certling cores that we're using for the for the uh, for the for the uh, charcoal kiln. So let me grab some wood right quick. Wait, do I have wood on me? I have wood on me. What am I doing? Okay. What am I doing with my life? I don't know. Making a video. So go ahead and just, just press it. You're going to fill it up with 10, 10 wood. And then you just got to give it time, guys. You just got to give it time, and uh, and and it'll spit the charcoal out, and you'll suck it right up. But I'm going to keep doing this, guys, until you need at least, at least two to three charcoal for every metal ore. You get one for one for ingots. One ore, one ingot, one ore, one ingot. But you need at least two to three charcoal for every single ore. 
So make sure you you get enough charcoal or you're going to be having to make this thing again and again. Here's a charcoal. Boop. I have how many coal do I have? I need I need 6. No, well, we have 12 pieces of metal. So I need 24 pieces of charcoal. But I really only need 12 or no no not yet. Like 24 to 36 pieces of charcoal minimum. So I want to make sure I have plenty. I have some laying around here. Where is it? How much do I have? Which I found in chests laying around. You also get coal from um, from either burning food, like overcooking food, or if you you can use it, you can get coal from uh, from certlings. They also drop coal as well as the certling cores. They don't always drop um, either, but they. I mean, I think they maybe they always drop certling cores. I think they always drop certling cores, but they sometimes drop coal as well. So yeah, and I I don't know where else you get to find coal, uh, but. Right now, this is the easiest way for me. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and make this charcoal, and I shall return. And we will be right back, because this is just so scintillating, I don't want to miss it. But you do, because for you, it's probably boring. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, and we're back, and oh my gosh, it was it just turned light, too. So um, I got some charcoal right here. How much do I get? I got uh, 25 pieces right here. That should be plenty to do what we want to do. We're going to go ahead, and uh, I'm going to take out my hammer. And we're going to get rid of that thing. Then you get back your certling cores and you get 10 stone back. So I don't get all 20 stone, but I do get both of my certling cores back. And that goes for your crafting stations to take metal ingots as well, guys. So now that I've got my certling core back, let's grab, all right, we have all our metal, we have all of our coal. Let's go ahead and make the, let's make the other item should be right here all right this is our smelter uh, well it's raining on us let's throw the smelter down and and once what happens is this is where other ingots come out on one side you put the coal in and the other side you put the metal in now i don't think you can put the metal in but oh, you can put the metal in before you put the uh before you put the coal in so okay it's full full of iron and before you ask guys before we do this before you ask at the moment at the moment tin does not go in the smelter it's actually an object that you use as is okay you use that as is with copper to make bronze items okay you do have to smelt the copper but you don't smelt the tin so it took us forever to figure that out and nobody was talking because nobody knew and the dev wasn't talking because he wants to be he wants it to be surprised he's not gonna give away all the all the answers you have to figure it out yourself or you come here and you watch my videos that's what you do by the way if you like this video or any of the videos in any of the series that i do please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed do that right now man do it right now right now it didn't cost you anything and uh hit the bell icon so you get notifications when i go live when i go live stream and such so when i put videos up all right we're going to shove some coal in here all 10. Uh, okay, and then what will happen is, just like the coal, the iron will spit out. And so when we get, I'm, I'm, I'll let one piece fall so you can take a look at it. But we're not, I'm not going to make you sit through all of this, because we got something to make after this. I don't want this video to be like an hour long. It doesn't take long, guys. I mean, I'm, it's, we should spit one out here really, really fast. As soon as it pops out, I want to see something. I'm hungry. Okay, there's one just came out. That's what it looks like right there in the ground. And uh, now I have eight coal. It takes two coal for one ingot, guys. There we go. Oh, new material, iron. Now we know a stone cutter bench. Now we know a, a metal chest. Now we know a private chest. That's it. That's all we learned right now. So that's fine. All right, guys, I'm going to keep feeding this coal in and, and getting this iron out, and then we'll be right back. Okay. Ooh, more coal. Alrighty, guys. Well, we are done with our smelting, and I still have two coal left, and that's pretty cool. I'm still gonna take this uh, the hammer out right quick. And oh my God, there's a stone cutter bench. But um, we're gonna, actually I'm, I need some more stone. I'm gonna go ahead and boom. We're gonna demolish that. The reason I want to demolish it and collect all the stuff from it is because the um, the the dwarves do not like the little dark dwarf or little uh, little black dwarves. They they don't like the uh, whatever they call them. They don't like the uh, the forge or the smelter. And that's a forge. The uh, they don't like the smelter or the or the, uh, the the kiln, so they will come and try to destroy it. And I don't know if this, they'll destroy the surter cores or not. So we want to keep those in a safe spot. So let's go ahead. Let's put this down right quick. Let's go ahead and put this stuff away. So certainly cores away. 
and we use that we'll pull those out as we need them but we don't you don't need need more than two but trust me in the end you're going to have way more than you actually ever thought you were going to need i do have 12 uh, pieces of or iron ingots now so what we're going to do is we're going to make a uh a stone cutter bench which i think i might be able to fit no you know what i might I was gonna say i thought i could fit it in here but i can't fit it in here let's go ahead and put it I want to. I need a radius where I can still build. Let's put it against this wall here. Let's put it right here. That way the dwarves can't get to it, and I can still work with the uh, with what I need. Now we just learned a bunch more recipes, guys. Stone walls. Stone arch. Stone floor. A hearth. Okay, all kinds of other goodies. So, I'm going to go ahead and scrap all the stone we've got. I have a bunch of stone. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put down... I don't want to split it. Let's go ahead and grab all this stuff. And we don't need any wood, so we're going to put the wood back. And do I have any more in here? I don't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. By the way, when you reclaim your 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 smelter you only get back half the coal that you would you would normally uh, that, that's inside so don't expect to get all of it back because you're not going to get it at least not right now that might change all right guys i know it's kind of hard to see right here so let's go ahead and let's see if i can i want to put down one see this is angled up see how this is angled up i probably need to take the hoe it looks like it's it's actually starting to fall is what it's looking like it's starting to get lumpy again from when we did our when we did our um our honus. So what I think I'm gonna do, guys, I'm just gonna. I just want to put down one stone floor so you can see what they look like. We can put this down right here. We'll just put it down. I'm gonna de destroy it, but we're gonna put it down so you can take a look at it. And we'll go to building, real quick. There we go. That's what they look like. Actually, I'm not gonna put it down. I'm not gonna place it and, and waste it. We're gonna redo this entire compound, guys. We're gonna. Re I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the hoe and I'm gonna flatten this out. And then we're going to redo the entire compound so that we can uh, we can get it looking nice and pretty. And um, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be really amazing, I think. So, all right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you did, get, like I said, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. We'll catch you in the next episode of Valheim very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.